number one. I'm not here today, getting ready to do some dredging. See if we can find some gun parts today. We're back at the creek where I got all the machine gun pieces and uh, guns. Figured I'd give it, give it a shot at dredging it. Crank this thing up. Haven't used it in a while, about three months or so. So I need to get out and use it before it gets too cold. I'm putting it together right now. What we do is we we take everything apart. I carry this down one piece, I carry the sluice down, and I'll carry the floats down, and we'll put it all together down here at the creek. This thing's like 250 pounds all together, so it's a lot easier when you take it apart. Get it all set up, and hopefully we can find some good stuff today. So let's get to it. All right, I'm priming the pump now. Get the pull water down here and get the pump completely filled with water. Where the dredge will work. Get in there and I lift this up, goes down, fills up the pump, about filled up all the way. And what I'll do is, after I get this filled up, I'm going to take it and hook it on the hand. It'll be about 85 today. The sun's trying to come out, so hopefully it'll be, be warm enough. All right, so that's on there pretty good. Get a little bit tighter. All right. Now all we got to do is see if this thing will crank up. Take my tub. intake hose inside of a tub. You don't want leaves and debris getting all up in there. Alright, this thing hasn't cranked up in a long time. Let's see if she will crank up. She'll be good to go.
water in my ears, so it's hard to hear what I'm saying. But that could be some type of part off a gun. I doubt it. I don't know, though. Y'all have to tell me. But we're using ATX today. Pretty good machine. I mean, it's a pulse machine. It's not a VLF. And uh, I got it short so where I can use it underwater. It's all right. Awesome. Maybe we'll find some good stuff with it. All right, so I've been dredging out that hole where I got the signal out with ATX. And I think it's a gun park. Come take a look at it. Let's go under. Part. Looks like it's off a silencer or something. Wow, that's awesome. I got this thing set up with sensitivity at seven. I have it real low just because there's so many nails in here that I've lowered the sensitivity so it mainly just pick up the big iron targets and bigger targets. That's what we want anyway. We just want the, the gun parts. And uh, I got the threshold at about seven. And I'm using the waterproof headphones. And uh, I just rechecked the same hole that I found the gun part in. And there's another target in there as well. Right there. See them three red dots? When, when they go to the far right here, that means it's the strongest uh, signal strength. Basically is what it means. Right here would be a fainter target, and uh, far right would be something really big, or you're really close to it. So it's a strong signal, because the bars are all the way up. We might actually be able to see it. I don't know if y'all can hear it with the dredge running and all the other stuff we got. It's one of those iron rocks, like iron ore, or melted iron. That's what it was. Still pretty cool. There's actually another signal right there as well. This whole bedrock crevice is loaded with signals. Let me show you. Got this ATX.
TX now, and uh, she just got a good signal here. It was down about two feet to the sand. I finally found bedrock, and it was this right here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's part of a gun sling. A little swivel to put your sling on. That's awesome. I'm wearing my dredging gloves. Got it with the ATX. I mean, it was down over a foot and it, it, yeah. it gave a great signal. The ATX is amazing. I mean, it goes super deep. We check the hole, see if there's anything else in there, Abby. I think there's something in there. Yeah, I think there's something in there. Yeah, see, look. Yeah. Red dots. Look at that. Yep. More in there. Something else in the hole. Let's go take a look at it, see what it looks like. done dredging for today had a great time got out for about four hours and a couple cool things I got some iron ore or volcanic rock I guess you would call it that's what this one looks like anyway it's like it came out of a volcano it don't beep on the detector but this one here gives a signal and a couple of these other ones do as well so it could be iron ore possibly out of like an old iron furnace or um, some type of volcanic rock, but I think it's iron ore or just mel melted iron might be the proper word for it. I don't know. But look at that, it's pretty cool. Found a machine gun part, looks like part two of a silencer inside of one, maybe. Y'all could tell me. A couple other parts look like they're off of uh, machine guns. That looks like it's a sight right there. Pretty cool. Uh, part to a sling, master locks, and barbed wire, and a couple bullet casings, shotgun shell. I did find a huge valve stem. That's probably off of like a big truck or maybe a tractor. Uh, this is a Model T Ford valve stem here. I got two of them. I dig up a lot of these, and they're a lot smaller than this one so this must go off of a a tractor or something with a big tire it's pretty cool though I did find this I think it could be off of a gun probably it's with all the other stuff so 
Could be. I mean, this here was in the same hole as this piece and that piece. So they're probably all related somehow. Nice little quartz rock. I thought that looked cool, so I figured I'd keep it. Bunch of bullets. That's 9 millimeters. Maybe one or two 45s. There's a 45 there. And uh, some 22s. And I did manage to find a little bit of gold. I got about 30 specks. Uh, some of it's already in my my jar, but there's some I just panned out in there. I don't know if you could see it. So I had an all right hunt. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Good luck. And happy hunting.